hello everyone welcome to this video in this video we'll be looking at the group which is formed by even permutations so let's first see the result that we have used in the previous video the result states that the identity permutation that is an even permutation so let's try and prove this result this the proof here is also very simple we know the identity permutation which we usually denote by this epsilon this can always be expressed as product of two same transpositions how this is so suppose we have we are taking some set a which has numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right from this uh, set a we are now constructing a set s6 right which would contain of all permutations of the elements 1 to 6 now within this we would also have the identity permutation so identity permutation what it will do it will send 1 to 1 right 2 to 2 3 to 3 4 to 4 then 5 5 to 5 and 6 to 6 right this is what it will do right so we uh, in this we are representing this e as product of we can represent it by any numbers 1 6 and 1 6 here so let's see does it represent the uh, identity permutation here so we will first go and see what if we input one what output we will get on moving from right to left so here the first one would map 1 to 6 and the second one would map 6 to 1 so your answer is 1 so that means one is mapping to 1 right what about 6 if we input the digit 6 here and we move from left to right you see the first cycle what it will do it will send 6 to 1 and the second cycle would send 1 to 6 so your answer is 6 right so this thing is up there 6 maps to 6 this thing is there and no other elements no other numbers are mentioned over here so by looking at this we know 1 is present 6 is present so that means the, the, all the elements lying in between 1 and 6 are also present so 2 3 4 5 are also present and moreover they are not represented here in any forms so that means they are emitted so that means we may only emit one cycle so that means we would have 2 here 3 here 4 here and 5 here as one cycles and what does it mean it means that 2 will map to 2 3 will map to 3 Four will map to four and five will map to five, right? So this is what it means. So one goes to one, six goes to six, and all the other numbers two, three, four, five are kept fixed because they are one cycles and they are not written here in the given permutation. So therefore, uh, we are able to write this identity permutation here in terms of. two transpositions and you know two is an even number so therefore this epsilon which is the identity permutation that is a even permutation correct so this is what we wanted to prove here next we will see here that the set of even permutations in the set sn this forms a subgroup of the symmetry group sn right so what we do from the symmetry group which consists of various permutations we collect few of them which are even which are even permutations which could be decomposed into even number of transpositions so we will are uh, going to prove here that this subset of the set sn is basically a subgroup right so uh, let's see that so here if we represent the set of even permutations by an right it represents the subset of sn which would contain even permutations you will be seeing in the next video why we have named this as an particularly right let's keep it uh, like this for this particular video right we wanted to prove here that this an forms the subgroup of the group sn so uh, what we can do we can take two elements that means two permutations alpha and beta from an now an because we know it consists only of even permutations so therefore both alpha and beta they are even permutations moreover you know the inverse of an even permutation is even so therefore beta inverse is also even if this is even this is uh, this would be present in your uh, set an right now if you have this alpha also a member of an beta inverse also a member of an 
this is even this is even so that means their product is also going to be even if their product is also even so that means their product would be a member of this a n so that means according to one step subgroup test that we have studied previously this set a n this basically forms a subgroup of the symmetry group s n right so i hope you understood the results well well that is it for this video thank you for watching